And here we go. This is Flash at In a Perfect World on Tuesday, the 19th of May, 2020. We're we're surviving five months into the year. I thought we were all going to be dead by now. Uh, anyway, this is uh, hmm, Tuesday. And I'm going to do a solo. I didn't get Mary to come along tonight, I don't think. So we're going to do a solo show. Let me see if I got connected. and They can hear me okay. They've been uh, got a lot less lag with the service we're using right now. So, I would take it that as... Oh, there he is. Okay, so we got... Uh, thanks, Flight Club, for doing the radio stuff and making it easier. Every time I try it. Hey, thanks, Will. And uh, we got the bots and bodies for your typing entertainment on the Arlen chat. We got Barman and Beetle, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti Asmo, Circlo. She went upstairs. No, no, no she's going to be on the chat. Damn Van Meter. Duh. Me. Frumpy work. Frumpy. I be thou the ghost of Ivy Godson. <clears throat> Meister Brow. Prince Rob works the bubbler. Trust no one. Vano White. Hey, Vinny. Weather Dork. Woodman. The Phantom. Anti underscore CC66. Chaskara. Chloe Singular, Cyborg Noodle, E-Man, and Siv Gromit, Jays Nines Jays, Kiss, Matt, WJ2002, Ponsa, Sock Puppet, Smartass, and the Holiest Roger. So if you're chitter-chattering in the uh, RLM tonight, that's your choices. And these are the people that, you know, Think whatever they think and do whatever they do and live however they live. We got the internet to tell each other about it. And in the world, the way the world is rolling right now. Wow. I was talking to the uh, bartender friend that got downtown. They opened the bar yesterday. Dun, 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 dun. And it was pretty crowded the first day. Today I stopped in for a quick beer on the on the way back from the store, and she was telling me her version of this is that the government just wants the population to, to go to work and pay taxes and go home. They don't want them to go anywhere. They don't want them to do anything. They they want to control everything. So this is her telling me. <laughs> so there we go, and uh. I think I came to that decision pretty much all by myself without the input, but to have somebody else telling me what I would tell you guys on the radio. Just same kind of um, what's the right word? surprising, I think, because it's not news. It's just I wouldn't expect the local people to be this hot about whatever I'm hot about. There are a lot of the people that I associate with got that same attitude about it. There's so much more to this than some stupid virus in the first place. The governments have just gone completely over the top on the controls, pushing everybody around, telling us what to do, when to do it, how to do it, how far to stand, how it's ridiculous. And then, uh, when here, okay, over here it's going to be different than wherever the hell you are, wherever you may be. But over here, they had that a couple of days ago. They had the damn, you know, six foot markers in the store. Two days ago, the markers shrunk down to like three feet or about a meter, maybe, give or take. Might even be a little bit less. But I know they started out huge and they're already starting to make the gap smaller. Now, the minister here, prime minister, not minister, 
the PM of Denmark. Is that a very popular lady with uh, my peers here in the uh, social circles, if you know what I'm talking about? And I'm not even Danish, but uh, I can have an opinion. And if I did like the female that's running things here, I'm sure that my friends would you know, fix me and let me know what I'm not seeing so I can make a better judgment of it all. But without all the details of it, we all seem to agree that Whatever's going on here, you know, beyond the, is the corona real or not bullshit, set that aside. The first thing that the Dane does is says, well, Sweden dealt with it. Completely the opposite of how we did here. And they didn't suffer at all. And then she's starting to realize about the death tolls being blown up. She says, and where's all these dead people? There should have been hundreds of thousands of dead Danes for all this, to do all this for two months. No, <laughs> so little by little, you know, but still there's going to be for every one person that reacts like that, there's probably going to be nine that cower to the state. Oh, Mr. State, please protect me from the evil virus. Oh. And <laughs> that, that's what, I know it's just so fucking ridiculous to me, though. Grown men and women of, uh, you know, every freaking color and every kind of language you can think of. And we all do the same shit, basically. You know, we let somebody else have control of our power. Hmm. Collective mistake. But there's hope. I seen a video today. Who knows if this was staged? This could have been actors in this time in life. I, I don't even know what to make of anything anymore. But I know what I saw. And what I did see was two cops trying to push a guy around about the coronavirus rules and him standing his ground and telling him to fuck the fuck off. Because when you technically go through this they're, they're, you're not breaking any laws. You're not following a cop's orders based on what? You know, There's no proof of none of this shit that we've all been going through for the last 30 years <laughs> with these virus things. But, wow. See, they didn't even used to, years ago when they first started this virus crap, they didn't even warn us. They just did whatever they did with the virus People got sick. I don't believe that that's what happened, but this is the stories they've told. Because people do get sick, and they do die, but not necessarily the way that we're told they did. And uh, they've been using this Spanish flu story forever, since ever I can remember, till uh, I took the time to find out what exactly the virus was. That, well, okay. You can believe your story if, if it makes you feel good, but um, I refuse to be afraid of something that's out there in the world that could, could kill up to 2% of the population. That's not, a, it's not enough to get my, my mental attention. See, if it wasn't for all the... Uh, politicians and the states and all this shit playing this game I wouldn't bother with it so, so yeah the only reason I'm even involved is because people I'm connected to are all involved and then of course I got my family and whatnot out in America but I don't know it sounds like America's doing worse well maybe not as bad as Germany Probably like a close tie. So you got your little browser right in front of you if you're curious about what the hell? Germany is a wonderful country. Well, yeah, they're as wonderful as America. They'll lock you up for talking and check you and inspect you and pat you down, and isolate you, and do all that good shit. You know, for the good of society. Because... <clears throat> As we all know, government loves us very much. They love us a long time. Right, Woody? If Woody's listening, have you heard this? 
that. <laughs> anyway, Woody's uh, familiar with that one. Uh, we got Donna Van Meter popping up on the RLM, too. Uh, there's Vinny and Frumpy Works. Who else is chitter-chatter? And Grimner. Uh, a few chitter-chatterers yakking it up on the RLM. But tonight, I guess Mary came into some kind of a family thing. Because uh, I believe she said she would well, She would have told me. I, I guess something must have come up. Then she was wrestling that car a couple, what, five, six weeks ago now. So the healing process of that, oh, man, all those changes. When you're our age, Grim's coming up on 60 now, so he's the young one out of the three. <laughs> no, Mary's the oldest, and then me, and then Grim. <laughs> so... I think, anyway, because I heard him talking last, he did the uh, Leftovers program. He was talking about his age, coming up to the end 60, coming up to here, I think it's in August. His year the month before me. Hmm. So is Mary. Mary's in August, too. Yeah. So, let me see. Is there anything, there's not really anything bad going on yet where I'm at over this outside of a, a few stores got shut down you know it inter interfered with people's uh, livelihood now I don't know how the Danes dealt with all that time off work and all that bullshit because I'm not I'm not on their dole so I wouldn't you know it wouldn't be something I'd be familiar with I have to go look at but I'm still yet to see anybody starving in the streets or, you know, everything here seems to be just like it was before, less this intrusion into the grocery store and uh, a few businesses, but most of them are so small in the first place, they're, it, it's a smaller kind of a thing, so... I don't know where to go with all that shit. It's just life. You know, we, we got tricked into... Uh, we got tricked into believing things that weren't true all through our whole history so that by the time we got where we are now, when we really should be flying around in, you know, jet-propelled cars, and space suits, and all kinds of crazy gizmos and shit like that, Instead, we have lockdowns and coronavirus. So, hmm, why? I mean, everything's on credit any freaking way. This whole money money thing is such a... It's like a performance, if, if you know what to look for, I suppose. There's a way to read it. And I don't think that uh, that we're all taught exactly how to, how to look at this money thing. I mean, crying out loud, there's not been any gold. Outside of the United States Fed since 1933, they confiscated, they called it back. They made it illegal for the citizenship to own gold in any way, shape, or form. And I don't think that log ever got lifted. It might have been you know, overlooked here and there for depending on what the government wanted to do at any particular time. But just goes to show the, the deceit and the trickery that we live in day after day. And then when you go talk to somebody else about it. And, you know, over the years I've been here, uh, people's behaviors changed about certain topics. And I think this lockdown has put the, even put the Danes pissed off at their own people. Not their people, but their sitting government. Yeah. So, let's see if, if because so far I've been here this past six years, whenever something irritates the population, the population says, hey, government, blah, 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 blah. And the government has to back down to the people. And they do. But this particular uh, topic, this corona shit and all the crap that's going along with it, hey, Frog, um, I don't... I don't think average Joe is as familiar with it, say, like the RLM people. 
because we've all seen the this thing from the start of it <laughs> to you know where they kicked it off where it was global and all this bullshit and now we see it here you know it's it's easier you know hindsight's twenty twenty hmm. and it's it's easier to see what it is now than it was when it first started. Because I was saying, me and Mary were tiptoeing around it, trying to find that 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 positive way to to say, nah, I don't really. And then when you come down to it, there was no there was no nice way in or out of this. We, we were forced to pick sides. I think this is a divide and conquer scheme of schemes. This is like fractional reserve banking, perfect, you, perfectly executed. They explain it so well. Well, you can have it, not have it, and carry it and not carry it. So we're going to get everybody. <laughs> huh? It was the old rummy thing, you know. Well, you got your known knowns, your unknown knowns, your known unknowns. <sighs> that kind of shit. Over and over. Here we are. Fucking going to be 61 years old. And we're locked down in America. I've been disappointed in America a few times over the years, but I don't even think the Scots did any of this crazy shit. Well, maybe they did. They're insane. <clears throat> but I saw the state that Grimm's living in, New Mexico, got one of those. See, it's they're making a political stand out of if you're for a lockdown or you're again locked down. And you're Republican if you're not for it. And if you're for it, you're a Democrat. Right? Does I got that straight? Huh? I'm not really positive. I could be wrong. I could be misinformed. You know, one of my inside sources could tell me a lie. And mislead me. Take me down the road to disinformation. <laughs> I could be a... I could be fake news. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fake news, right? So I guess what they're trying to do is justify their scripts. I mean, they don't even have the decency to deviate and, you know, use different terminologies in different areas. They go by the script and all across the United States, all these commentators hunt. Public, edu uh, public television situations. They're all saying the same fucking words. Oh, the news. That's what it is. Couldn't think what it's called. I haven't seen a television show. I can't. I guess when I was, uh, I was in Scotland. 14. What? Yeah, 14. And uh, now nah, I haven't seen a TV show that I, you know, on a TV set since then. And I wonder if it's helping to uh, Correct my perspective, you know, getting away from that idiot box. Because we all love the idiot box, right? And then when you, well, I guess it's the same if you've watched the movies, you watch them on the internet. They're still designed to hit your brain, certain wavelengths. Larry and Rob know about this stuff. This is not my strong, uh, but I've got a little bit of an inkling of, you know, when when something feels comfortable to does that have something to do with the way I'm interpreting a wavelength? You know, could it could it be that complicated? I wonder. Probably is too, because we're supposed to just be like this ball of energy bouncing off everything, and then you got these eyeballs that that give things shapes colors and gives you a reality so you can walk around and do all these things that people do. And it's just kind of a coincidence that this lockdown concept serves no purpose medically at all except to weaken the victim. Because yeah. if you're being locked down, hey, if you don't think you're a victim of that, boy, are you a victim. Hmm. Just the idea makes me sweat. Now, I didn't have to go through any of that forced shit. It was all voluntary, whatever the fuck that difference could possibly be. I don't know. I still went out 
I did what I wanted to go do. But, hmm, I don't know. Just the idea of, of being in a situation in society where they can, at any time they freaking please, just, hey, we're going to shut everybody down. What? And then, of course, I saw from the local behavior of that, the state's going to get their way with the folks that I live among. <laughs> Jeez. So, I guess what that translates to is I'm sure glad that they just said it was voluntary from the start. And I know that mandatory horse shit. I'd have been fucked. Poor Cirque. Because <laughs> Cirque is Danish. She'd comply with her state or it's where she lives. Me? Oh, I don't know. I would either had to just stay in and avoid everybody or be a total hypocrite and go out there and do this little performance for the, for the freedom of being able to do commerce in public. Well, I don't want to live like that. Unfortunately, it didn't come to that, but or did it? And it's just, we don't see it that way. You know? Maybe there's different ways that this is being interpreted by the computers. <laughs> you know, they're counting it way differently than I am. Let's see what happens, I suppose. Anyway, I miss Little Miss Mary tonight. I was looking for something to read. I don't like to read links all that much. But, because everybody else does it. You know, hmm. I was trying to do something that everybody else, you know, just couldn't do. And I'm finding out, like, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult than others to be motivated. You know? Especially through this uh, welcome to Palestine period of history that we're, we're sharing, in a way, with each other. I mean, you know, no matter how bad or how good you do through this shit, most of us look at it for what it is. It's just controlling shit. That we'd probably do better. We'd be better off left alone. This whole nightmare with this crap was not necessary. The only reason I can figure out that they've done it, I've yet to hear anybody, you know, give me a, a word, show me where I'm wrong. I think they, they've run out of stories to print more money. They're at the end of their rope. I mean, <clears throat> how many... What, come, what comes after a, you got trillions and then you got quad somethings, quadzillions, I think Grimm told me. I'm not positive. But these numbers that they've come up with, you need a computer just to write them down. So, hmm, how, how real could this possibly be? Hmm. To me, it's not, but it seems to the rest of the guys... And the quadrillions. Okay, well, was I even close? I probably said quadzillions or something ridiculous. But it's just a such a phantasmagorical number, Grim. Come on. How how often are you going to ever use that number in reality? Eh, in reality, I hardly ever get past 50. <laughs> but I'm joking. I'm But just making a... I was making a point, but I do go past 50 quite often. But then the kroner's not the same as a dollar. So, I think the dollar, the dollar took a shit here. It's like seven and a half kroners to the dollar. There's no uh, spending power here with USD. USD is, I don't know what happened to it. Does anybody know what happened to the USD? I think it's been missing for about, I don't know, 106 years. <laughs> Something like that. And it slowly, over a lifetime, you know, life after life after life. And now they got us here, and now they don't know what to do with us anymore. So, hmm. they're right in front of you trying to figure out ways to do us in. I mean, think about it. Here it is, springtime's coming, and a lot of people hit spring when all this crap is just taking off, with this lockdown shit. And you can't go out to the park because, well, you're going to be alone in a park 
and you're going to get this, the grass sick. And <clears throat> see, my opinion on this particular situation follows like this. When we were kids, we used to come home from school. And there wouldn't be anybody around. Grown-ups were either busy doing shit or they're at work or something. And then there was a TV set. And if you didn't feel like going anywhere, you could go and put on a nice old sci-fi movie or something. And I think that we were raised with all these TV programs and TV ideas that we were taught is real. And they're the farthest thing from real. But you saw it on TV your whole damn life. So in your head, some part of your mind cannot fathom that that's not what you know, that's not the truth. That's just a story. But yeah, indeed, that's what I came to is I've been watching stories of the truth, but they've been misrepresented and mostly bullshit. There's a few things in them that are true, but the concepts in, a, in detail, no, nothing works the way we're told it does. Absolutely nothing. Right down to how the money works. Boy, I, if they if they could just came forward and explained fractional reserve banking to everybody equally. Uh, but I think what happens, people see a meme or a cartoon of something that's telling them the truth, but their mind doesn't accept it as, oh, look, isn't that funny? These people are trying to make America look bad. Well... There's a few folk on RLM right now that have backed this one up. But America truly is bad. Every corporation running around calling themselves a country is bad. They steal all their fucking money from their uh, citizenry. They steal every nickel that they can get from them, and they use it for shit. Waste, waste and garbage. So they can fly around and tell us not to do anything. And it's really gotten out of hand. Now these fucking wankers are going to get little Greta and make her a minister of, uh, you know, coronavirus or some shit. Give her a fucking crown and run around the world telling everybody to stay home for the safe, you know, for our safety. Where did the other 60 years go when I wouldn't have given this any fucking thought at all, period? So all of a sudden, man, this is all, I got to take this all serious. And, you know, if I don't, if I don't believe the government story, like 9-11, well, hmm, people judge me. Hmm. Well, I think that the state, Denmark, Delaware, the state wants this lockdown. They want this lockdown shit. I don't know why. I don't, I can't understand why. Why they want to confine us all, except for if you want to weaken people, bully the fuck out of them and scare them. Keep them in a state of terror. If you go outside, you're going to get the corona and die. <laughs> well, if you've seen enough fucking movies about viruses and aliens and bugs and all this other shit, all these things that they've taught us through film that are so dangerous... Yeah, here I am. I managed to make it all these fucking years without dying. Hmm. Why? Oh, because I have the bacteria all over me. Did you guys know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're covered from head to toe in all kinds of different kinds of bacteria. Bacteria, fungus, juices, goose, all, you name all kinds of shit. But the funny part about this stuff is it's all on the outside. See? It's not running through your veins. <laughs> no, no. That was Bill Gates and that crew's bullshit. And that comes from older people back in history that. Well, if you do research into some of the greatest thinking minds of the 20th, the 18th, the 19th, 20th centuries, you'll find out that most of that was fraudulent. There their work was fraud. They plagiarized. They did everything but tell the truth. So here we are, oddly enough, living in more 
yet more bullshit. All these bullshit stories that led up to this bullshit story that we have today. Now, the way that they managed to make it so believable is through the internet, of course. Inflated numbers, these people died of this, and so on and so forth. And Well, you know, if, if you take things a little smaller, okay, and I started to wonder in the beginning about all this, but, well, how do they know what you die of just because you die? Hmm, 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 think about that. Then they're just taking an educated guess at what killed you. Otherwise, they would have to spend lots and lots of time with different specific tests to figure out what killed you. And that doesn't seem like there's a lot of profit in that. So, guess what they're going to do? Hmm. They're going to guess the old, what killed this guy? Hmm. What pays the best to kill him? Well, there's a $19,000 bonus on Corona. I'll take it. And then you just died of Corona instead of pneumonia. And if you do a little checking, you'll find out in lots and lots of cases, that's really what happened. So they've convinced the, you know, hmm, the scared, the weaker, the elder, the uninformed, the uneducated, the paranoid, the schizophrenic, and the mentally challenged that there is real zombies out there in the world, but you can't see them. They're invisible. And if you wear this magic mask and these magic gloves, the zombie bug that you can't see can't get you. That's what I hear. I, I can't make any sense out of any of this crap about lockdown, staying inside, out of the sun, Vitamin D, hmm. sunshine, staying, being grounded barefoot on, you know, all these things that are good for you. Take it away. Nope, not for you. <laughs> so how can they tell you on one hand that it's for your own good when if you analyze every step you're taking, you'll find the negative side to it outweighs the good side. So there is no good side. And there are other uh, lands where politicians that want to make a name for themselves are stepping forward and calling this thing a hoax. And they want people's ass. I seen a, I think it was Italy. Hey, Hannibal. I think it was Italy. Grimner? Moose. Moose and Grimner know this kind of stuff. Does on there, too. Uh, what is it? Italy. Yeah. They just had some minister go completely berserko. Even had a a link with uh, English, so you could read what he was saying because he was yelling at him in Italian, baby, and he was pissed too. A couple of different countries want to have Bill's, you know, billiard. <clears throat> what dear? They want Billy's head on a stick. For the you know damage that's been done by his pushing this vaccine shit on people over the last what's it been thirty years something that he's been all tied up in this crap. We're not computers, <laughs> you know we're we're not, and viruses may work to destroy a computer, but viruses don't work to destroy us the way that they're telling us they're mis. They're misinforming you about something that they are trying to do, but they're not trying to do it the way they're telling you they're trying to do it. No virus magically escapes some bat soup fucking place in China. I mean, even the story was stupid. Do you know how long... Crying out loud. We have this thing in life. We'll, some people deny it. It's called evolution, right? Now, if you take evolution on a like, cellular level, it would take something like a virus hundreds of years to evolve. It's not traveling on the speed that we are. We're, we're way more capable than a one-celled organism. So, you know, there you go. But if you've seen Alien, and you know what happened, what was her name, Frisbee or Jisby or something? What's her name? Sigourney Weaver. She was the uh, 
The woman that kept going into space with aliens or something. See, I'm not even familiar enough with this stuff to quote it. Just, I know better, you know. I know Hollywood is making an entertaining program for me to enjoy. Not for me to follow like it was a fucking law or a blueprint to disaster. <laughs> if I believed everything i have seen on movies, wow. I, well, I believe a few things, just not all of it. Like, I don't really think that you know Bilbo outsmarted Gollum inside the mountain. But I saw him do it. Hmm? See, there's, there's that fine line. You know, and people will go, wow. But I saw it. Yeah, so, and there, there's your argument. But I saw it. Well, I didn't see it. I mean, both people can look at the same damn thing, see two different things. We always do this all the time. Me and Mary do it almost every radio podcast we do together. There's something she'll go, I don't blah blah blah, and I'll think, nah, I don't think so. I see it quite differently than that little missy. There you have it. But. That doesn't change the thing that happened. Just me and her talking about how we interpret what we think we saw. (laughs) Life is so... What's the right word for life? Amusing, I guess, if you allow it to be. And uh, tonight, I called the In a Perfect World podcast for you guys. I named the show, You Know Where You Can Stick Your Germs. Because, I mean, so many simple, just the simplest of of these ideas. Without germs, you you wouldn't be here. I mean, crying out loud. There's good germs and there's bad germs and all this kind of name-calling shit. But nature has a balance, you know. And if you know how to read, these older fucks, 100, 200, 300, 400 years ago, They wrote down all the shit we needed to know. (laughs) It's all there. Okay, now, the last 150 years, well, some crooks got a hold of the shit. They've managed in 150 years to rob us of just about everything. They took medicine. They took politics. They took finance. And uh, we've got a special name for these people, too. But I'm going to isolate them by country. As a trying to remember to do this and instead of Jew, because I'd be belong to that tribe by blood or mommy or whatever. So I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to go with Israel. You know? Israel sounds so ugh, in the first place. And whenever you hear the name Israel, you know something's fucking wrong. Because why would you put Jews right in the fucking middle of all those Arabs? I mean, it's just. It's the stupidest idea anybody could have ever had in life, right? And here we are, 70 years after they do it, and it's still a bad idea. So if it hasn't you know, been polished or changed by now, it probably never will. So I came up with an answer for this. Well, I saw a meme. Somebody else thought of it. At least they made the meme first. And Nancy, like, right in the middle of America, you just... Carve out a circle. Hmm. Give everybody in Israel, let them live there. Then they don't have to travel so far to go to Washington to control shit. But that's another story. Anyway, yeah, I was making jokes years ago about Palestine is practice ground for what's coming to America. And I didn't really think I'd see it. Wow. But now hindsight, of course, being what it is. Some states said, oh, I don't think so. And other states said, let me roll up my sleeve. Hey, come here. Give me a give me some vaccine right here. I, I want a shot in my urn. And other states said, <clears throat> yeah, I'll shoot you, motherfucker. So when you have that kind of uh, separation on something... That's, for one, made up, okay, just like 9-11, there is, there is no terrorist the way they're explaining it to you. 
The terrorist is defining the terrorist, just like always. The storyteller that you're listening to about this crap from the top, he's telling you a story. <laughs> it's just, it's a good story because, you know, I saw Alien and I saw Virus. And I saw 12 Monkeys and I know how, I know all this shit because I'm educated, baby. I got science in my head. I'm smart. It's like Rado Corleone, baby. I know shit. But, uh, I guess what I'm saying is that we're so intelligent that we've backed ourselves into a corner. And if you dare to, to challenge this thing out loud in a public situation, even here, I think I'm going to get grief. People are not going to like hearing what I got to say. Fortunately, so far, it came up today. It did come up yesterday when we were drinking, but it came up today. We were just one-on-one. And yep, there, there's the owner and me. Okay. But nobody else. <laughs> now, in the long run, I think it's more important if you're going to side with somebody inside of, of a business. kind of helps if the person you're siding with, with owns the that particular business. So <laughs> luck, yeah, luck's always kind of with me. So even if I'm wrong, and I, I don't think I am, just let's just not be a pompous, complete pompous ass, just 98% pompous, 2% reasonable, and we'll go, all right, there's a possibility that there is such a thing, but there's no possibility that's going to do any severe damage to anybody. And if you're already ill <laughs> and you're afraid of getting iller, well, that's kind of stupid. I mean, where, where else do you have to go from being mortally ill to better? I, not likely. Come on. And then you're dealing with it. Longevity, age. There's a lot of variables in this life shit. And now the government's going to stick its greasy fucking grubby mitts all over us. Give us the massage of death and decide how long can we live. <laughs> it's, it's, it's everything uh, everything I've read it was going to be someday in all my crazy books, you know. With all these wackadoodle conspiracy nut jobs over the years that were warning us about, you know, they're trying to take over these Six corporations want to control everything. and They're going to do anything they can to make that possible. Well, I didn't think outsmarting the public was so easy. I thought the public would put up a little bit of a fight, but it, it didn't seem to. Some places are, they're so backward, so ignorant, and so gullible that they're asking for more. More lockdown, more protection, more state. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Stop those bad people over there and protect me from them. Well, I don't know how long that could possibly last. What's it been about? Three months so far? How far into this corona crap are we actually? Because me and Mary on the 29th of February, we were joking about but we were still tinkering. We weren't as bold about our side as we are today. But uh, so it goes back. Let's see if anybody knows on the RLM. Nobody said it. Ah, Vinny stuff dumped. Hey, see you later, Vinny. Uh, anyway, eh, it's been about three months, I suppose, right? Something like that. The bar must have been shut down for two of them. Hmm. And we have a possum tastes like chicken uh, update for Vinny. Possum tastes like chicken. Wow, there's something to think about. I'll stick with the chicken tasting like chicken. Duh. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't need to go getting too creative with my food intake at this time. But hmm, I wonder what I would do. Uh, and see, it's all conjecture. I don't, I don't foresee any real trouble coming from any of this. We're kind of really close to Sweden, too. So for the Swedes to sh outshine the Danes, this is... It, 
when uh, we were talking about that this afternoon, that who would ever thought in a fucking million years the Swedes would be the you know number one on this? <laughs> so, and you know, Danes right next door. So guess what? <laughs> they got that to contend with. So I, I would assume by the uh, the sitting politicians in power today are just I'm not pleased. But then you know it's not my country. That apparently some of the people I've talked to aren't so pleased either. So maybe there will be some changes coming in the future. Maybe not. Maybe they'll go the other way and go Nazi on us. Decide that we're going to get shot up. And, and who... See, I don't understand how they can be so naive to believe all of this story. Anyway... It's just that, you know, I've got my personal knowledge about it, and then everybody else seems to know different. And I, I don't quite, well, not everybody, the Grimner knows. I haven't spoken of any lately too much. I've seen him pop, popping up and in the room here and there. But uh, Vinny got sick just before all this uh, corona crap started, right? Went to the hospital and. Then the corona hit after he got surgery, I think, a couple of days after that or so. Here, anyway. I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I can remember this correctly. It was like a Tuesday. And then the following, the day after that, they shut everything down at absolutely nowhere. The stores here. And it was right about the time that he was dealing with the surgeries. So, hmm. It's been a... Not such a hot 2020, I would say, uh, as a collective, you know, far as I don't get, I don't get any kind of giggle out of other people's misery. You know, that I, I just irritates the shit out of me that the place I'm from, especially that you know, I'm from there. Uh, uh, I guess they're talking on the thing, but, uh, I'm from that place and it's, such a different story to tell now than the one that I would tell from having been there. You wouldn't know we were talking about the same country, and it's only only been gone since uh, what was it, 12, right? I think so. Uh, 11. Uh, right before 12. So, hmm. yeah, we're coming up on nine years away from America. And in the nine years that I've been gone, <laughs> the I, I don't know. Trump taking power didn't do anything to slow anything down or make anything better. I don't think that Corona thing interrupted the bombs falling anywhere. I think the bombs dropped. Mm. What other? What other things are there to ponder? On in a perfect world. I'll give it 12 more minutes and try to do a, at least an hour. But there's really not much going on in the world besides this freaking horrible control of the population corona crap. You know, and they've got a lot of people convinced. And all I can acquire, accredit that to is movies and television, the news, and these. Uh, yeah, even Netflix pumping up the reality of this corona crap with virus this and virus that. Everything but the truth. If they told you the truth at this point, you might not even believe it. But uh, I'll close out with uh, stories that Clint Richardson from um, UCY got me on these. Is They did experiments with influenza about 100 years ago, give or take. And they would take a healthy human volunteer and inject them with the snot of, an, of a sick, ill human being. And that person would not get sick from being uh, exposed to it in the fashion they exposed to it. And I think they put it right into their arm. So... What we've been convinced of over a hundred or so years is that the impossible is possible. And what they're not telling you, 
that Larry Woods and Rob Woods were discussing on uh, Thursday night on the uh, in a drop in the coil program was the coincidence, shall we say, that there are certain elements to being susceptible to this virus that doesn't suit everybody. There's only a small percentage of the people that are going to ever get, get sick and die from it. And it's not being explained to the public the way it's truly happening. And then on top of that, that they're cooking the books and you know, they're acquiring, well, you had this illness when you die, when you died. But defining that is, you know, see, too many TV shows. That's what I think is people have these misguided ideas in their head about how specific medicine truly is when it's, they'll tell you it's an art. They are practicing medicine. They don't have any more of an idea what they're doing than you do half the time. They just know what the inside of your body is supposed to look like. But uh, hmm. that's my opinion. Of course, I'm no medical expert, but I would think that you know, after you live a certain amount of years, you should be able to consider yourself some kind of medical expert if you're in physical condition, you know, good enough to do something without it uh, causing you physical agony to do it. You know, simple things like yards, gardening and whatnot, crop maintenance in the house, shit that you got to do. You know, so if any of these things are, are making you physically ill, well, you need to pay attention to it and do something. And what I learned on the Internet, and uh, mostly the Internet, because uh, until I was about 50-odd years old, I didn't really have any medical issues that I wasn't dealing with. And when I dealt with them, they got worse using medicine. So I went, hey, chuck the medicine. Don't do it no more. Now here I am. And I think for you know my age that I'm at, I think I'm doing fairly well. I'm not creaking and crooking. You know, I'm not walking with any discomfort or snap crackling or popping. And... Cirque seems to be, you know, feeding me good enough so that uh, whatever I'm taking in fuels me and I can, you know, function without any agony. Like Mary's going to have a little bit of trouble with her uh, recovery because she got hit so hard by a car. I told her not to be, you know, pumping iron, but she wouldn't listen. Anyway, uh, that was terrible. <clears throat> Who has incredibly skinny legs there, duh? Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just so, I'm content with life. So it's really hard to uh, talk about the problems of the world and, and, and be involved in them because I'm just looking on to them, you know. This is my opinion of something I'm seeing from, from a distance. And wow, I hope things get uh, squared away and people come to their senses about what they're doing and how they're doing things. You know, uh, if you're not comfortable, there's a reason for that. You know, something's bothering. It's fix it. And I don't, I don't mean like this. Well, they can't go outside because I might get sick and die shit that's completely ignorant and i think that's where we're sitting as a collective is people got to get over this tv nonsense about you know their uh magic bug is gonna do what to them show me a victim i still have yet to, i don't know anybody we were talking to them and close with this the bartender asked me she says do you know anybody that's gotten this corona and died I went, no, neither do I. <laughs> so there I'm being asked the same question I would ask on my radio podcast. Well, Grim, Grandma, she's old. <laughs> Why do I want to kill Grandma? I, I'm not that, how do I mean it? Is If you're that deathly freaking ill 
and you don't have the uh, access or family or whatever it takes to get to the remedy, then Rockefeller Medicine's doing what it's supposed to do. It's going to put you down anyway. It's not designed to keep you going. It's designed to make money off you until you expire. <laughs> so who's killing who, boss? You know? I'd like to see the world open up with the, the book of truth and an apology for all the things they lied about. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. Ah, yeah. uh, well, we were only joking about the weed, but <laughs> yeah, it's good for you. You know, oh, you can make just about anything you can imagine out of it. Oh, yeah, trees. No, we don't need to cut those down. We could do everything with hemp, but no, they won't do that. They won't even come up with their new study indicates or nothing. They're just dragging it along. <laughs> now they got locked down to play with, so I don't know. I guess uh, I, I really don't think I have any advice for anyone about this one. It's, if you don't know, you don't know. And if you do know, you're as frustrated as I am. And we're... Uh, the numbers, just explain it. Just read the numbers. Anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out on a, In a Perfect World on this Tuesday, the 19th of May, 2020. And we've got uh, on the reallibertymedia.com, there is a schedule. And uh, Grimner made the page easy to navigate. So if you can find your way to it, you can find your way around it. I do. <laughs> and uh, thanks a lot, especially to the, the chatters tonight. Some people give me a little little poke in the eye here and there. You know, It keeps things a little bit interesting. And uh, what else we got going on? I don't know. I just think the this, this state wants too much control and too much power. And uh, we're collectively being weak and we're giving it to them. Stop it. You're making my head hurt. See you guys next week. Bye.